thinking about national things rather than local things, which is a shame, but I can understand why in the middle of everything that's going on, that obviously everybody's finances are going to be uppermost on their mind. Unfortunately, what they tend to forget is who gave them the financial coal and just look at who's giving them the medicine to deal with it. And unfortunately, Labour sneezed, we caught the cold, and now the Conservative-led coalition are giving them the medicine, and that's what they remember. And do you think that people being uh, more tight with money would drive them to the polls and vote in bigger numbers? You would think so, um, in part, but I think the, the real issue for me is the fact that last year we had a majority of councillors agree that the right thing to do was to ditch having elections every single year. It's just expensive and pointless. Each councillor is elected for four years, why not elect them all at the same time? thereby you save hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds of taxpayers' money. The rest of the, of the East Midlands have already done this. It was only the Labour majority, minority at the time that chose not to support that. The net result, for their own political angles, they've spent lots and lots of our money, and we've ended up with an election tonight that most of the public haven't supported. We're down to 26% of the voters. Um, and we've got, instead of councillors keeping their eye on the ball, sorting out the council in these hard economic times, they're out running the streets trying to fight an election. You end up with short-term populist policies to try and win votes, rather than a four-year plan, which they could have had. And uh, didn't Labour councillors have the same issues? I mean, they've been up for re-election this, uh, this year too. But the point is, if last year they'd run with what was the right thing to do, they would have been in control for four years. It would have given stability to the council. They would have been able to say at that point, we've got a four-year plan that we're going to put in, in action, rather than worrying, well, actually, we've only got 12 months till there's another election. Let's bring out some populist little tidbits that are going to cost money, but will get us votes. And that is what needs to change. Thank you.